प्रिय विद्यार्थियों आज हम बात करेंगे चर्चा करेंगे ऐसे ऑन सुपरस्टिशंस बाय एल्फ्रेड जॉर्ज कार्नियर फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट कार्डिनर ही वॉज बॉर्न इन जेम्स वर्ल्ड यूनाइटेड किंगडम बिसाइड्स बींग एन एसेस्ट ही वॉज ऑल्सो ए जर्नलिस्ट एज ए यंग बॉय ही वर्कड एट द केमिस्ट फॉर क्रॉनिकल ही वॉज द एडिटर ऑफ द डेली न्यूज लंदन फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फिफ्टीन he started writing for the star under the pseudonym alpha of the plo his works are elegant graceful and humorous he is unique because he specializes in writing about the basic truths of life in an essay the style is natural and lucid devoid of ornament ornamentation he was chairman of the national anti sweating league in this essay on superstitions he wrote under the name of alpha of the plo his essays displays a mingled sense of humor and sobriety in this essay gardner has given us an account of some of the common superstitions and the way they influence us he begins the essay with the mention of number 13 and the fears and anxieties that this number arouses in our minds gardner says that he has so far kept himself free from this particular superstition and though he constantly uses a bus number 13 it has not harmed in any way he would not change the number of the bus even if he is given power to do so he further adds that physical recovery depends not only upon physical health but also upon mental health the body can regain only if a person is mentally free from fears and anxieties and to create such an environment florence nightingale advocate advocated the use of flowers in the patient's room to substantiate this point he gives the example of a war victim who survived despite his despite being severely maltreated but died due to the anxiety aroused in his mind after the appearance of a pimple on his nose gardner says that in ancient times when mysteries of nature were not unrevealed it was natural for men to be superstitious they believed in oracles omens and looked towards forces of nature for every single move even great warriors like cicero alexander the great the caesar depended on the fortune tellers however with the advent of science and technology which opened up new vistas of knowledge superstitions were disinherited to a large 
extent. Gardner concludes by stating that Caesar and Cicero were great men but modern people are better off because they can laugh at superstitions which their ancestors only avoided in. So in this essay, Gardner talks about different superstitions. So in the essay on superstitions, we have the theme of fear, control, superstition, logic, tradition, insecurity and escape. Taken from his name, Alpha Daplo, second series collections, the reader realizes after reading the essay that Gardner may be exploring the theme of fear. Man has a fear of the unknown and to elevate this fear, he creates superstitions, which may or may not calm his mind. The walking of an individual around a ladder in the street rather than underneath the ladder is one of these fears or superstitions. The reality is that it is highly unlikely for someone to be injured by walking underneath the ladder. However, People prefer to walk around it. It is possible that Gardner is suggesting that many superstitions or fears are illogical. Take the number of take the number thirteen for example. Many people consider it to be a bad omen. Yet there is no reason for it to be. It is a it is after all another number as Gardner himself known by travelling on the bus. In reality it is an individual unwillingness to challenge their fear that gives rise to the continuation of superstitions. In modern times also or on many occasions people do not know why they are superstitious. It is something that has always been there or taught to them by their elders who also may not know why it is unlucky to walk underneath a ladder. Tradition plays a large part in superstitions and, in, and it is by word of mouth that superstitions are prevalent in a society today. Nobody has a reasonable explanation for, for most superstitions apart from the fact that not by adhering to a superstition an individual get uncomfortable rather than deal with the discomfort or fear an individual decides instead to pay observance to the superstition. It may also be a case that the individual who adhere to superstition is in fact insecure within themselves. Knowing that they not follow the superstition, something wrong might occur. This is itself is illogical as man does not have the power to determine whether a number 13 bus is unlucky. It is for this reason that Gardiner may be suggesting 
that an individual due to advancement in science has no reason to be superstitions the number 13 is just another number the sound thunder is just that a sound of thunder and does not dictate the course of an election election in modern time man has to be more sensible in its approach to superstition to be logical when he can or cast aside any fear he may have based on information from his elders so in this uh, essay on superstitions the writer says that these superstitions are jumped from our insights they are told by our elders